Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a quick look at the Ibanez Artcore AMH90 Impression Blue Metallic. So the AMH90 is a uh, slightly smaller body, double cutaway, hollow body guitar from Ibanez, and I really dig the shape of the body and all the contours. sides of the of the guitar are linden which is actually a uh, just a variation of basswood and the uh, the neck is a three-piece neato and maple neato being you know basically just another version of mahogany uh, with a center stripe of maple fretboard is ebony it's really nice you know really nice piece of ebony it's got 22 frets on it and happy to say that the frets on my particular amh 90 here are fantastic they're level uh you know the ends are really really nice uh, no dead spots or anything like that so you know on a on a lesser expensive import guitar that's nice to see So the AMH90 uh, comes with just normal, you know, normal non-locking tuners, uh, you know, three on a side. Um, I did go ahead and put a set of Godo uh, gold locking tuners. Uh, they're the kind that actually lock on top, though. Um, it's the only set of gold ones that I actually happen to have on hand. So um, I may eventually go ahead and put some ratio, you know, locking tuners on there like I do on, you know, most of the guitars. Um, but... As of right now, I got the Godos on here. Nothing wrong with the Godos. The ratios are just, you know, my go-to locking tuner normally. Um, but these are working fine. Hardware down on this end, it's got a uh, it's got a Gibraltar Performer bridge on it, and as far as tunematic you know type bridges go, I really really like the Gibraltar bridge here. Um, it, you know nothing rattles, it's all real real solid. You know when you you know when you're setting the intonation, everything moves really really solid and precise. And uh, that's not always the case on cheaper you know import guitars that have tunematic bridges on it. But happy to report that this is definitely a nice solid bridge. And then it's of course got the trapeze tailpiece there. As far as the electronics, we have a volume and a tone for each of the pickups, a three-way switch, and what Ibanez calls their trisonic switch. And what the trisonic switch does is the neck pickup, when it's down, is full humbucker. When it's in the middle, the neck is in single coil. And then when it's up, the neck is in parallel. Uh, it doesn't affect the bridge pickup at all. The, the humbuckers are Ibanez Super 58 pickups, um, but they're the, I guess, you know, they're the, they're the import you know, version of those pickups. And I would say they're the weak link on the guitar. They sound good. They don't sound fantastic. I'm, I'm kind of used to a little, you know, higher end humbuckers in most of my guitars. So I did notice that. Um, I do like the neck pickup a lot. And I think the trisonic switch 
is, is very useful. Um, I think the bridge humbucker sounds a little bit weaker, um, but I do, you know, I, like I said, I do kind of like the neck humbucker there. Um, I need to find out um, these these Super 58 pickups come in two conductor and four conductor wiring. Obviously, the neck is four conductor because it's got this switch. I need to get there and find out if the bridge is as well. And if it is, I'm thinking I may add a second switch here and basically do the same thing, you know, on the on the bridge humbucker that you can do on a neck humbucker with that trisonic switch there. And one thing, the trisonic switch is actually uh, silver and obviously all the whole hardware is gold. So I think that would look a little nicer if it was also gold. I'm not sure why Ibanez did that unless, um, you know, maybe they, they're they just having a hard time getting the gold switches the way the industry is, you know, right now. But uh, I just thought that was a little odd. Uh, the knobs are actually ebony and they're, they're pretty cool. Um, I think, I think it looks nice with the guitar. And then obviously you got your tortoise shell, uh, you know, pick guard there, which I think looks good. It's actually for the price point really really nice you know uh, like I said the fret work is really good but you know the way the neck joins the body and, and you know all, all the binding you know the finish and everything it, it, it really really looks nice and it's actually really really built you know very very nice is I've, I've heard a lot of people um, with these complaining you know online that they had a hard time getting the bridge low enough to get the action nice without you know running out of room here with the bridge um, I don't know if that's something maybe Ibanez has addressed recently but um, I got my action nice and low and I still have plenty of room to go down on the bridge so uh, if you've seen that you know online or anything. Um, I don't know if that's really something to worry about now. Like I said, maybe it's something they fixed recently. Um, but like I said, I've got plenty of room to go even lower on, on my bridge. As a matter of fact, when I first got it, you know, had have reading that, um, having read that, I guess I should say, I went ahead and lowered it down to the point um, where the, you know, the strings were totally fretting out and they weren't really even making any sound. So I had to come back up, obviously. So like I said, plenty of room of, you know, adjustment on the bridge, at least on mine. So we'll do some tone samples for you. Of course, that means we're gonna do the same riff that we always do among some others.
gang, that'll about do it for the quick look of the Ibanez Art Core AMH90 in Prussian blue metallic. It also comes in a gloss black, and then there's a satin cherry red also, which looks nice. But I really, really dig the, you know, the Prussian blue metallic. And I also, like I said, I really dig the shape and size of this guitar, you know, the double cutaway being a little smaller. And, you know, being a hollow body, it is, it is very lightweight. My particular one weighs uh, five pounds and I think 13 ounces is what it said. Uh, now what it is, um, it is basically a hollow body. There is a block of wood that goes, that's you know, right under the bridge here that goes, you know, from the top to the back. And then there's, there's like a length of wood, kind of like a rail, but it doesn't touch, it only touches the top, doesn't touch anything else. So it's, it's about as close to being a full hollow body, you know, as you can get while still, you know, being able to anchor that tunematic on there. So, uh, but really, really nice and lightweight. Um, I was kind of worried that this might be, you know, a little neck heavy, but happy to report that it's not. I think I've heard that some of them are and some of them aren't. I guess you just kind of have to test that out. But with this being such a lightweight, I was kind of expecting it to be neck heavy, you know, when I got it, but it's not really neck heavy. So I'm happy to report that. So, but anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for checking it out with me. We'll see you next time.